does your professional sales professionals or your department doesn't know how to address their problems are they are constantly giving you problems and the situation they can easily encounter according to you but they are not able to encounter them and that's why you are facing a lot of loss in your business so in this video i'm going to tell you how you can gain a lot of revenue eliminate the loss as well as instituting high standards and regular training for your growth as you all know that every business needs to be automated to generate a lot of revenue uh, that's how you can become, achieve financial freedom as well as time freedom everyone is doing business to attain that financial as well as time freedom but 99% of the business owner doesn't able to achieve that thing because they don't know how to automate the business first you need to understand that not every person in your organization has a learning mindset only 10% of the people is living in that low uh can be trained can be skilled according to your organization so you need to find out that 10% category of your employees who can be for this scenario i remember a quick story i want to tell you there are two woodcutters woodcutter a woodcutter b and they are both bulky having an axe which is too sharp and they they went into the forest to cut down some trees and to get some wood woods because at the end of the day they have to supply wood to the nearby city as is ordered by the governor of that city so they went into the jungle and they start slashing the trees one by one one by one one by one a uh, wood cutter a, uh, a is striking the tree on in a harsh manner and he is cutting down the trees again and again and again and again and uh, after doing 1.5 hours of repeated work wood cutter a stops and uh, see wood cutter b is still uh, not cutting the trees what does wood cutter b is doing the wood cutter b is doing something work with his axe and uh, just uh, sleeping for some amount of time and when wood cutter b starts slashing the trees after 1.5 hours the amount of work done by wood cutter b is already surpassed within half hour by wood cutter b and at the end of the day wood cutter b has more woods in his backyard than the wood cutter a and wood cutter b already outnumbered the target given by the governor of that city and why this happened because wood cutter b spent some time to sharpen his axe rather than wood cutter b just slashing the wood cutter a just slashing the trees so what is the moral of the story you have to sharp your skills you have to do sharpening of the mindset and the skills you own and that's how you are going to make a massive money in your business that's why most of the business owners are not able to do that thing they want to automate the business everyone every person in the business wants to automate their business but they are not working their skills or mindset or they are not working on the mindset as well as skills of their employees so here is a quick activity i want you need to do so with the training everyone sings in harmony what kind of music is your organization is playing you can ask these five questions to yourself answer them with true or false and if if any of the answer is false you need to work on that training and the part in your organization what are those five to six questions are first question is or all employees perform each aspect of their job with a high degree of excellence and consistency is it true or false in your organization results are somehow predictable because training and this case are consistent so answer that this case and training are consistent in your organization and you are able to predict the outcome in every department or not each supervisor would to give a similar answer to each question for a problem ask to yourself that uh, when i am going to ask a question in whole department are all the employees going me a better and same answer of that particular question true or false client treatment is similar no matter who is the person dealing with that client in that particular department is it true or false in your organization all staff members know what is considered good performance or attitude in most of the organization not all the employees know what is how is the success measured in that particular role and how i am going to get assignation promoted and all of those stuff ask yourself all the staff in your company know how to get promoted how to know what do they know what is the success means for that particular role or not if any of those questions answer is false then you need to start working on the regular training not training regular training on in your organization and what you will get giving the regular trainings first of all training 
helps you to get a lot of money. You can't even imagine. Let, uh, let me give you a scenario. Let's suppose one of your sales profession is dealing with a client, and suddenly a client gives him an objection that uh, I am confident with your product or service, but I'm not going that to buy that product right now because I need to uh, share those things to my boss. Okay, that's an objection that client gave to your sales employee. In this situation, one of the two things happen. First thing, you train them how to address the situation and they have the particular information how to tackle with that objection and they can easily tackle the objection and grab the money from the client's pocket. And in the second situation, they don't know how to address this situation and they start guessing. And in which situation you want your staff will be? This is a question for you. Ask yourself, either I have to train them and uh, uh, give them particular information to deal with the situation or I want their, them to guess in that situation whenever the client throws any objection or problem in front of your employees. Ask this question. Either you can train or you can be deliberate trained. So always work on that training of your employees. But here is a bonus tip why you need to work on the regular training of your employees and this is uh, when you encounter any tough situation, plastic situation, your brain does not get shut down. But your instincts came forward and instincts can be taken as an advantage by getting regular training. For example, uh, I want to elaborate this scenario using my friend's story. Uh, one of my friends Shidesh was driving on a mountain while he was going with his friends. Uh, and when he drops his all friends, he's going back to his home in that mountain area. And suddenly he starts doing less driving in the night because he was a little bit drunk. And uh, suddenly uh, a truck appeared in the front of his car and he applied brakes but the brakes was not working on. So he starts doing less driving and taking out his car in a rapid pace. And uh, he, he saved from that truck but after that there was a boundary of that uh, particular highway. And uh, due to the less driving and not having brakes, he crossed that boundary and jumped from a cliff of that particular mountain and being a person who knows how to perform karate in a well manner, he was training as a karate kid since last uh, three years. So he had that instance and he suddenly grabbed his hand in front of his face. So his face doesn't get damaged while jumping from that cliff in the car. So due to that instant, he saved his head, but his arms and legs were broken because the cliff was too high. So this is the scenario. You need to understand when we encounter any problems, any situation, your things came forward. So what you do by training them repeatedly, you can train their instincts. Let's suppose you are encountering a client and the client uh, give you an objection that I don't have money. And you trained your employee that much that uh, he can answer that objection due by his instincts. So he don't have to think a lot about it in that objection, how I have to handle this objection. He starts doing that thing by his instincts and behavior. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you how you need to design a training, how you need to give details about your training. So your training will provide you fruitful. Now let's understand that uh, there are so many uh, corporate companies who is hiring people, speakers who can provide meaningful trainings to the employees. But they are not getting results after providing that training too because they are not providing necessary details to their employees who is going to attend those trainings. So here are the few points you need to share with your employees before giving them that training session. Then what are those few points? First thing, what will be the objective of that training? Okay, who is going to deliver that training so they can do a little bit of research. How long does this training goes? After that, the obtained skill uh, after attending that training session and will they get any reward or any bonuses in the middle of the training after doing activities in a well manner. After giving those brief points to those employees who is going to attend those trainings, you will get a drastic result because they will going to do a little bit research on that speaker, on that particular training points and what are the skills they will obtain and how they can use those skills to become more productive in their journey. But I am going to share you a graph in which you need to understand that repetition is the key. There are so many employees who is guiding training but they are not productive because they are not working on those points on a consistent basis as well as repetitive basis. So they need to work on those points on a repetitive basis. And that's why I am showing you that graph. 
In first class, after one training session, their skin improves a little bit and suddenly goes down again. But in the second class, when that session is get repeated again and again, their skin improves so a little bit down, then again skin improves a little bit down, then skin improves. If you give them repetitive session, then the information gets settled in their brain and all those things become instinct of those influences. So what you have to do, you don't have to focus on their uh, information retention on their brain. You have to make those information as an instinct of their brain. And if you really want to make your training more better and help you to get more fruitful outcomes, then you need to share one more information. How will those all the information will be covered to those influences? Like doing lecture format or whatever. Now I'm going to tell you that what are the effective, most effective formats of the training. First one is lecture format. If you want to just share the analytics data to those employees, then you just have to do a lecture format training in which you do a data pump. That's it. In second training, there is a group discussion training in which you give them some scenarios and they will discuss over it. They will become a, a work as a team and uh, help you to achieve those results what you want to convey. There are two scenarios. Either you can share those informations or you can convey them or you can give them scenarios in which they come up with that outcome you want to convey with them. That's how group discussion works. And the third thing is group training in which you will give them, uh, you will separate those employees in a groups and you will train them accordingly. Fourth one is demonstration training. If you have any product like lotion or whatever it is, you can go for demonstration training so they can understand how our product works and what are the results our product can provide. There is a difference between giving visual as well as audio training rather than just giving and uh, providing them the templates of those products. After that, the fifth part is role playing. You can offer them a role and according to the role they can understand what does this position works and how uh, this position works, what are the pros and cons of this position. Uh, doing the role playing will help you to develop a deep bond between a manager as well as employees because every employee thinks like you know, my manager is too strict and whatever the scenario is but doing the role playing you can understand each other's problem and you can connect with each other. With each other. Six is uh, giving uh, assignments before training, after training, like uh, just uh, in my videos, after providing valuable tips, I will provide you activity you have to work on. That's how you can retain more information in their brain. Seven part is workshop training in which you provide all the necessary details. There is a enjoyable part too. You can connect with the speaker and a bunch of stuff. Workshop training is the best training among all those 10 trainings. Hot, uh, hot seat, like there is a person in which, uh, like there is a department or a person you want to take out the information then you can put that person on a hot seat and ask bunch of questions to understand how much that person connects with your organization, how that person deeply connected with the organization and what are the problems that person is going through. Ninth one is case studies in which you can share the case studies of the successful person as well as the unsuccessful person. The motive is of this training is to let that people understand this is the wrong way of doing that task, this is the right way of doing that task and what will be the outcome. After performing the task in the wrong direction, you will not get in fruitful results. But performing that task with same energy in the right direction, you will get fruitful results. That's how case studies work. Case studies and workshop training are the best one. Last one is the sport quiz. This is the good training to retain more information. Let's like suppose uh, you can use this training for a repetition session of your old trainings. Like uh, what are the key points? Like what are the six points to become a great manager? Just let me know in the comment section because I already shared this video. If you don't, uh, if you didn't watch that video, I am attaching a link. You just have to watch this video. And those are the person who already become a master of time manager. Just let me know in the comment section what are the six steps to become a time manager. Manager. That's what means help you to give them a quiz of a bunch of questions and to retain more and more information in their brain. So in this video, I told you why, what is the importance of regular training and what type of outcomes your regular trainings can provide to your organization, how it can give you more revenue, what type of trainings you need to cover in your organization and what are the material you need to provide before the training. Now, there is one more point like uh, technology training can be a boom or whatever for, uh, can be a boom, a boom for you because uh, let's suppose you are working uh, on NMS Excel and you want to 
take out the information from a CSV file to an MS Excel. Maybe you can write down all the information by typing from the keyboard, or you can use a software or whatever. The trick is so you need to understand if you are working on a technology, there are several things you can do in a quick instance of time. So you need to train those things to the employer so they can become more productive and use some time for rest because humans need humans need rest in most of the situations. So now you need, now here is the activity time. I told you all the things regarding the how you can set high standards using training and you can provide regular training to generate more and more revenue in your organization. So now here is the activity time. First, ask yourself ask yourself what's your training plan. Which department is going to encounter this those training, and why you need to provide those trainings? What are the uh, parts you need to cover in that training? What type of training it will be? Workshop training or whatever this is. Answer these questions and write down in a brief manner in the clean sheet of paper. First question. This is the second part of this video in which you become the ultimate sales machine in your particular industry or in your niche. If you don't know how to manage your time, because doing sales is important, but not becoming more productive is a boon in your industry. So you need to understand how I can manage time in an effective manner and that's not a technique told by internet rules. These are the techniques used by the most successful CEOs, business professionals as well as entrepreneurs in the world. So if you really want to understand the sixth step to become a great time manager, then you need to watch this video now.